Here's some news you might have missed. If you're not reading the Business Courier online every day, a Fairfield company owned by Hall of Fame basketball star Oscar Robertson is facing foreclosure. He owns Orchem, a specialty chemical supplier and manufacturer. A complaint indicates the Mulhauser Road property where Orchem is headquartered has unpaid taxes, charges, and penalties totaling more than $194,000. Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir is traveling to India on a seven-day economic development trip. This marks Bashir's third visit to India in an attempt to make the Commonwealth an attractive location for Indian businesses. Already this year, Bashir has also made economic trips to Taiwan, Japan, Germany, and France. It will cost more than originally estimated to build new homeless shelters in Cincinnati and help transform the way the region cares for people who are homeless. Cincinnati Center City Development Corporation, 3CDC, now estimates it will cost about $40 million to build three new homeless shelters and help with capital costs for two others already in development. 3CDC is working to raise the money with Strategies to End Homelessness, the local nonprofit that helps coordinate services for the homeless. Mark your calendars. Opening day 2013, the Reds will host the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim Monday, April 1st. The first professional team in Major League Baseball will be the first team to start the season with an interleague matchup. National League versus American League games will take place throughout the season in 2013. It is one format change caused by the shift of the Houston Astros over to the American League. Several area schools improved their ranking in 2013 edition of the U.S. News & World Report's America's Best Colleges. Miami University, the highest ranked local university, tied for 89th among the top 204 overall universities and tied for 37th among all national public universities. Miami was 90th and 40th in those categories last year. UC ranked 139th on the overall list, up from 143rd last year, and tied for number 70 on the list of top public universities, up from 73rd last year. Xavier wasn't ranked among national universities, but tied for fourth in the regional university Midwest ranking. That's the same as last year. The College of Mount St. Joseph and Delhi tied for 60th on the regional ranking, up from 72nd last year. Northern Kentucky University and Highland Heights ranked 67th in the Regional University South ranking. And Thomas Moore in Crestview Hills tied for 50. Congratulations to our local colleges and university on those rankings.